Hello everyone, this is Sam Spade and welcome to another Coding Fundamentals and GML tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be talking about two different GameMaker Studio 2 loops. The while loop and the do until loop. The reason we're covering both loops in the same tutorial is that they are very, very similar. There's only a couple of differences and we'll highlight those as we go. The first loop we're going to cover is the while loop. With the while loop, the code inside the loop will repeat as long as the condition is true. So at the start of the loop, we'll have a condition. And if that condition evaluates to true, the loop will run. And the loop will continue to run as long as that condition continues to be true. It can be thought of as a repeating if statement. An example in English of a while loop is, while it is raining, I will use an umbrella. Now there is one problem with this example, which we'll cover in just a moment. So here is the flowchart for a while loop. It's the same chart we use to talk about loops in general. Our code is going along. It comes to the condition. If that condition is true, it will execute the code inside the while loop, and then it will go check if the condition is true again. It will execute that code, and so on, and it will continue to loop until this condition is false, at which point the loop will end and the code will continue. No other code runs while the loop is going. So as long as you're in this loop, no other code except this is running. And that's why the English example doesn't quite work. Because in the sentence, while it is raining, I will use an umbrella, there's an idea that you can do other things at the same time. In code, that's not true. While the while loop is running, nothing else except for the code in that loop will happen. The other thing this means is that if the condition is never false, if this condition is never false, the loop will repeat forever. None of your code will run and your program is going to be stuck in an endless loop. So it's important when writing while loops to make sure that the condition can at some point evaluate to false so you can break out of that loop. The while loop has the following form. It starts with while and then it has an expression. Again, this expression will be evaluated the same way it would in an if statement. It's looking for true or false. And if it is true, then the code inside this block will run. A common use of the while loop is checking for a collision at a specific XY coordinates. In this example, we're using the built-in GameMaker Studio 2 collision command, place meeting, to see if there is a collision with object wall. And if there is, we're just picking a new X and Y position at random, somewhere between the room zero and the room width, and zero and the room height. As mentioned before, all loops, except for the repeat loop, can be infinite. While and do until loops, which we'll talk about in a moment, are the easiest to make infinite. And an infinite loop will freeze your program. A simple example of an infinite loop is this. True is always going to evaluate to true, and thus this code is going to run forever. There are a variety of ways to create an exit for a while loop. But one simple loop is to simply build in some type of counter. So in this case, we have a counter called remaining loops, and we set it to 1,000. And now we're doing the same check as before, but we're also checking to see whether remaining loops is greater than zero. At the start, remaining loops is going to equal 1,000, so that's going to be true. But in each iteration of the loop, we're decreasing the amount of remaining loops by one. And that means that no matter what happens here, after 1,000 loops, remaining loops will not be greater than zero, and this will be false, this whole thing will evaluate to false and we'll exit out of that loop. A do until loop is exactly the same as a while loop, except that it will run the code once before checking the condition, and it stops if the condition is true, whereas the while loop will stop if the condition is false. So the flowchart for a do until loop looks like this. The code is going along, it runs the code here first, then it checks the condition. If that condition is false, it will repeat and do this code again. Condition is false, loop, 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 until this condition is true. Once the condition is true, then the code will continue. With the while loop, the condition is checked first, and if it is true, the code inside the loop will run. If it is false, the code will exit. With the do loop, the code runs first, and then if the condition is false, the code will repeat. If it is true, it will break out. A do until loop looks like this. You say do, 
then you write the code, then you say until the expression. Again, this expression is evaluated like in an if statement or a while statement, it's checking for true or false. But if it is false, it will repeat this. If it is true, it will stop. So here we have a do until example. In this example, first we are picking X and Y at random. Then we are checking for a place meeting. If this is false, we will go back and repeat this loop. If it is true, we will exit out. In other words, if it is true that there is no place meeting, then we found a free space and we'll continue with our code. But if it is false that there is no place meeting, which means that there is a place meeting, we will go repeat this code. Let's switch over to GameMaker Studio 2 for a quick example of both while and do until loops. So, as always, I've set a breakpoint and the debugger has stopped. In this first while loop, we're simply checking to see whether a random number is greater than 0.25. If you remember in the repeat loop, this line of the repeat code was evaluated as soon as the loop starts. With a while loop, it's evaluated again each time the loop comes around. So the random number will be repicked every single time. So you can see, hello world. And now we'll go again. Still is going. We'll see how long it takes for this to evaluate to false. I'm just going to click through here. Oh, there we go. So finally evaluated to false after five loops. Now we have another quick example using the exit loop strategy. So we're going to keep this short. Remaining loops equals 10. So this won't loop more than 10 times. So this portion of the loop, make sure that we haven't repeated too often. And this portion right here is a little bit long, but it's simply checking to see whether or not the X and Y position is in the center of the screen. So we're going to loop through this and we're going to watch the remaining loops decrease. Gone through once. Now, it, oh, there, so we just continued on. So it only had to run once before this loop evaluated it true and we broke out. But as you can see, this was decreasing and eventually we would have broken out of this loop. The last thing I wanted to demonstrate in the debugger is how the while and do loop run when their conditions are false in the case of the while loop or true in the case of the do until loop. If the while loop is false, this message will never be displayed. So switching over to output, notice how it just skips entirely past this. With the do loop though, this message will be displayed once and then because it will evaluate to true, it'll be finished and that's the end of our test. Here, we have an endless loop, which I've commented out so we won't get stuck. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to uncomment it, or I'm gonna exit out of the debugger. I'm going to uncomment it, and then I'm going to run it so you can see the program get stuck in an endless loop. Okay, so the program is running. This breakpoint here has stopped us. I'm going to uncheck it, and I'm going to run. And now you can see this is uncommented. And we should just see a stream of debug messages print out down here. And here we go. So this code right now is looping endlessly. We're just stuck right here. And although you can't see it, it's continually going faster than I can even scroll up. Fortunately, because we're in the debugger, you can just pause it. And then you can exit. If you weren't in the debugger, you could use this button right here to stop the build. So in summary, a while loop repeats your code while the condition you give it is true, and it will stop repeating once that condition is false. And a do until loop runs the code, then checks the condition and will stop if the condition is true, instead of if the condition is false. It's possible to create endless loops with both while and do until, so you want to be careful and you always want to make sure that you have set up your condition correctly. If you ever get a blank screen or the program seems to just stop responding without giving you an error message, you probably created an infinite loop and you should stop the build. Or if you're running the debugger, you can pause it and probably see where that endless loop has been created. As always, the links in this slide will be below, along with links to the slides themselves and the source code. That's it. Thanks for watching.